Syrian Arab army eliminates dozens of terrorists in Daraa and Homs, destroying their dens and weapons. A truck loaded with weapons coming from Turkey to Syria was confiscated. Iraqi forces killed dozens of terrorists affiliated with Al-Qaeda in Al-Ambar province. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. Three citizens were wounded today when a motor shell fired by terrorists fell behind Al Muasat Hospital in Damascus. A police command source told Sana's correspondent that the shell fell in a plantation house behind the hospital, injuring three citizens and inflicting material damage on the contents of the plantation house. The Syrian Arab army has eliminated a number of terrorists and injured others in Babhud and Al Qusur neighborhoods in the city of Homs. The army also destroyed several cars carrying terrorists and ammunition between Tolof and Kafarlaha in Al Hula. A number of terrorists were also killed in Al Khalidiya and Al Ghasibiya villages, as well as in Kisin and Kaziyat Al Ghajar in Arrastan. Army units also eliminated a terrorist group and destroyed their arms and ammunition in Al Aqsa farm in Arrastan suburbs as well as in Talbise. They also destroyed a terrorist car in Wadi Layoun in Al Qsair countryside. The Syrian Arab army has meanwhile killed several terrorists who tried to attack Abu Alaya village in Jabal Jarrah, killing and wounding several odd men and destroying their pickup, which was provided with a 23 millimeter machine gun. In Homs countryside, meanwhile, the authorities have seized a motorcycle heading from Al Buqayya to terrorists in Al Husun carrying three rockets. The Syrian Arab army had ambushed the armed men in Al Buqayya and confiscated the missiles that were on their way to terrorists on the basis of information about the dispatch of weapons from terrorist groups in Lebanon to armed men in Al Husun and Zahra in Syria. The Syrian Arab Army Unit has eliminated 40 terrorists and destroyed their 23mm gun as well as three machine gun provided vehicles in Nansib in Dara'a southern suburbs. The Syrian Arab Army has targeted terrorist hideouts in the vicinity of Bilal al-Habashi Mosque and the outskirts of Al-Urdun Street. The armed forces also foiled an infiltration attempt by terrorists from Al-Mukhayyam in the direction of the Consumers Cooperative Center, killing and wounding several armed men. An Iraqi security source said that joint forces of police and tribes maintained control on the center of Al Ramadi city, in addition to controlling the towns of Al Khalidiya, Al Habaniya, and Eastern Hasiba, expelling Al Qaeda terrorists from them. The general command of the Iraqi joint forces announced the killing of the judicial mufti of the so called the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, affiliated with Al Qaeda terrorist organization. Terrorists Shakir Wahib Al Fahd. Fahdawi, who had killed two Syrian drivers in a Ramadi desert. A military source in Al-Ambar said that the Iraqi army assumed full control on Al-Ambar, especially Al-Khalidiyah quarter east of Al-Ramadi.
Within the framework of the involvement of Erdogan's government in supporting terrorists in Syria, the Turkish newspaper Radical revealed that security forces confiscated a Turkish truck loaded with weapons heading to the terrorists in Syria. The truck, which is carrying munitions and missiles, was intercepted by the police in the town of Kirikhan along the borders with Syria. It's worth mentioning that several media reports had confirmed that some Turkish sides are supporting terrorists in Syria with weapons under the cover of humanitarian aid. In occupied Palestine, one citizen died of suffocation after inhaling poisonous gases launched by Israeli soldiers to, de to disperse a march in the village of Kafar Qaddum, west of Nablus. The gases spread across the village and inhaled by local inhabitants, causing severe causes of suffocation. Israeli occupation authorities have been conducting a wide-scale aggression on the West Bank, during which dozens of Palestinians were arrested after organizing protests to condemn Israel's decisions to confiscate the area of al Ghwar. Head of the Iranian delegation for nuclear negotiations with 5 plus 1 group Hamid Baidi Najad announced that the 20th of this month will be the date set for implementing the Geneva Agreement or the program of joint action. Meanwhile, Iranian Assistant Foreign Minister Abbas Araqji said that he will meet next week EU Commissioner for Foreign and Security Affairs Helga Schmidt to discuss cooperation between the two sides. It's to be noted that Iranian experts along with officials from 5 plus one group during the third session of negotiations to specify mechanisms for implementing the Geneva Agreement. Now to latest business and market news, but after a short break, stay tuned. <laughs> 